Meteorologist Chris Havings here. Uh, pretty quiet in the weather front the next couple of days other than some fire weather. So I want to talk about a little astronomy this morning. That's the Perseid meteor shower. So let's take a look at some of the details. This occurs every year during about the middle of August, usually the best meteor shower of the year as far as number of uh, meteors. And meteors are caused usually when the Earth passes through the tail of a comet. This happens to be when it passes through the comet called Swift-Tuttle. And uh, during the 11th to the 13th, is, which is when we expect it to peak, it's when the Earth passes through the most dense part of the tail of the comet. And uh, there can be up to 200 meteors per hour in some of the more active years with this meteor shower, but it's been about 100 to 150 at uh, peak times this year. So you want to know how to view it? Well, the most obvious thing is try to go to a dark spot. The darker, the better. This is why we have a lot of places where we don't have any light pollution, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem there. Also, allow about 20 minutes for your eyes to adjust to the darkness. You should gradually see more stars in the sky and therefore more meteors, especially the fainter ones. Now you can see a few meteors in the evening hours, but the best will be viewing after midnight, especially as you head toward the dawn hours, say between about 3 or 5 a.m. Uh, look to the north northeast. That's where most of the meteors are going to originate from the constellation Perseus. Obviously, that's why it's called the Perseid meteor shower. And some good news. Now, the past couple of years, we've had kind of a full moon that's kind of put a damper on it, but the moon's going to set fairly early, about 11 o'clock, so it should have some excellent darkness for the viewing of this. But the big wild card is, what's the sky cover going to be like? Well, as we look at Wednesday morning, best viewing for that day further south, you go around Rock Springs, a little bit more sky cover as you head up to the north, up toward Cody, and also up toward uh, Lake Yellowstone, for example. Of course, big wild carby as, as it has been for the past month or so. How much smoke is there going to be in the sky? Now, if you look up and higher in the sky, usually it's clearer there than on the horizon. So you should be able to at least see some. As we head toward uh, Thursday morning, which is when it's going to be the absolute peak of the meteor shower, looks a little bit better that morning, a little bit better viewing there to the northern part of the state. Maybe some high clouds starting to creep into the southern part of the state, but even down there it looks mostly clear. So next couple of days, looks like some, some good viewing if you want to get out and look, do some astronomy.